I talked to Ronnie Bell at the uh, Shinola event the other day, and I asked him who's the most improved receiver that you've seen over the course of the year, and he said you. What, why do you think that uh, you've made such an improvement? Um, just the way I've attacked, you know, the offseason and uh, just the consistency. I've made sure to keep as the year uh, keeps going, whether that's blocking, uh, running routes, um, you know, catching the ball, just, you know, just making sure that Regardless, whatever it is I'm doing, whatever it is I'm doing, I'm giving my all to it. Is there one particular thing that you feel like you've made the biggest leap? Uh, no, nah, nothing, nothing in particular. Just I'm just trying to make sure my game overall is the best it can be. Doing a story on Jim Blocky, Coach Blocky, if you just call him, I guess. What, what can you say about you know he's the first face you see when you come in here, and if he's you know I guess helped you at all uh, you know, off the field during your time here. Um, just since I have got here, uh, Coach Blackie has always been a great person. Um, you know, like you said, he's the first face you see when you walk in the building. And now there's not any day I could think back on where he didn't have good energy. Um, you know, like uh, he's not really an on the field guy, but off the field, he just always has positive energy. And you know, that's, that's something that helps whether you're having a bad day or whatever it is you walk in the building. You know, it's just the first person you see gives you a smile, gives you a, hey, how are you doing? Um, I feel like that helps you. Thank you. Up to the left, Steve. Blink touched on how his family has helped him become who he is. And can you talk about somebody outside of this building, family, who, whoever has helped you the most get to where you are now? Um, I just, I feel like I've had a lot of uh, positive impacts in my life. My family, my friends, uh, coaches, uh, one coach in particular that I, I could uh, shout out to. Uh, his name's Coach Rinaldi. He just passed recently. Um, he was my high school wide receiver coach. Uh, he is definitely one person I would say that, you know, since I walked in high school, I always believed in me. Uh, you know, he would take me to recruiting trips if my parents couldn't. Uh, he was just always there for me, whatever it was. And I just know that, however, whatever I do, he's always going to be watching and he's going to be proud of me, whatever it is. Um, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, my cousins, and you know, there's more coaches I could, I could go on and on about people who helped me get to where I am today. What's Coach Rinaldi's first name? Uh, his name's Rinaldi Audet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Rinaldi Audet. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Over to the right. Back to Angelique. Christopher was here earlier saying the one thing that was, and he talked about this earlier in the season, that, that this team had missed bonding, you know, going out. And they wanted to see Spider Man tonight, apparently. Yeah. How much, you know, how much did you guys miss that, and how much do you think that being able to be together has really helped this team this season? Um, you know, one thing that was definitely taken away from us was uh, the team trip. Um, I feel like that's huge, and uh, our bonding here on the team. Uh, you know, like guys like who guys who early enroll have the chance to really bond when we take that trip. Kind of like myself when I early enrolled, we, went, we took a trip to uh, South Africa. Um, uh, I feel like we did a great job this off season of just hanging out with each other, being around each other as much as possible, even with the COVID restrictions, whatever it was. Um, and you know, just guys on the team really like each other. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's helped on the field, as you can see. Because you just it gives you that I want to play I want to do good for the man next to me. But your left, Austin. Mike, with Coach Gaddis winning the Royals Award, how have you seen him evolve in your time here, and how have you seen his offense evolve over the last three years? Um, just the trust has gone through the roof here between coaches and players. Uh, guys just believing in the process. Um, Coach Gaddis has done a great job with this. Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> Coach Gaddis has done a great job with this. You know, he just he's just putting it all out there for us, and I feel like we've done a great job of giving it, giving us, giving him our all in return, and it, it's just been a, a great thing that we have going on. Right now. It's a matter of like getting better at stuff that you've done for the last you know two, two three years you've been here. It's also a matter of like learning some new things that have worked for you. Uh, just just the things that we learned when he first brought the offense in. And just now that we are, we have two, three years of it under our belts. We just develop.